Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Pain Capital Management. That's spelled P A Y N E for the record, with our chief investment officer, the man with the plan, and yes, is my father as well. Bob Payne, good morning, Dad. What's shaking on this glorious, glorious first weekend in February? We are uh, into a new month already. It's hard to believe. Well, seeing that you just came back from a mini vacation, Ryan, I'm glad to see that you followed your mom's advice and put that SPF 70 or 90 on your face because you don't have a touch of tan. So, well, so make, was... mom and, and you're actually your uncle Alex, the dermatologist, very, very happy. You know, when you have cheap Irish jeans, Bob, it's not, it's not really <laughs> cheap Irish skin, I should say. It's not really conducive for the sun. Uh, so, <laughs> yes, I put the 50 on. Mom would be very, very happy. We have the 80 on, really. Mom would be very happy with that. <laughs> you know, Ryan, when I was a kid, we didn't have uh, suntan lotion. I had to use white latex paint. That was the only <laughs> thing that would uh, protect me from the sun. I'm sure it was a very good look, a very fashionable look back in the uh, 60s, yeah. Bob. <laughs> That's why I was single for a long time, son, just, uh, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got a great show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about Inheritance 101. Bob and I are going to break down the basics when it comes to inheritance and estate planning, all the things you need to know, just the basics, along with baby boomers. We're going to discuss everything you need to consider about retirement if you are a baby boomer, along with this week's financial propaganda, a lot out there in the media this week that's just nonsense that you need to avoid. Bob and I are going to call it the biggest offenders. And on our spotlight segment today, we have our colleague, financial advisor, Frankie Lagrateria. She's going to be on the show. She's going to break down someone's real retirement plan for you. So we got a great, great show. So, Bob, I thought we could tackle some of the major questions that you typically have when it comes to inheritance. One of the big things that we get concerned about are the tax implications of inheriting money. You know, Ryan, I just uh, wanted to bring this up. Um, it's becoming socially acceptable with my friends to, to not leave an inheritance. Are you okay with that? <laughs> I think you're hanging out with the wrong people, Bob. I don't like that <laughs> at all. Well, okay. So let's, you are going to get an inheritance, Ryan. I, I don't know what it's going to be, but um, let's clear a few misconceptions up. First of all, it's taxed on the estate level. So the estate actually pays any income tax, if there is any. You know, not many people are taxed on their estate today. The money you receive is not taxable. It's already been taxed. It's an after-tax inheritance because the only tax that's, that's due at, at death is, is, is inheritance tax. Not many people are paying that anymore. Exactly right, Bob. And the, the number's gone up significantly. It's actually $11.58 million per individual. So if you think about that jointly, that's you know, almost $24 million that you can pass through estate tax-free, along with 15000 every year you can do as an individual as a tax-free gift. So the numbers have gone up significantly over the course of the last couple of years. Well, that's great news, Ry. I don't have to pay any estate tax. Um, where do I have to gift any money to reduce my estate so I can go out and just blow it? <laughs> that's not that's not what I had in mind, Bob. I thought maybe you would feel even more generous knowing that uh, it's even easier to pass uh, money on to your beloved children, especially your favorite children. My favorite children. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about that another time. But you know, I think it's, we just want to be really clear here. There is no income tax. When you get this money, don't worry about tax. It's already paid, except on your IRAs. Now, you, you're going to inherit the IRAs, but if you take the money out right away, you're going to be hit with uh, you know taxation. So you got to be very careful about how you plan, you know, how to distribute your inheritance or how to take the income. Well, it's even more important now because the new Secure Act has made some changes. So if you've inherited an IRA, you're not the spouse. So theoretically, if I inherited your IRA someday, Bob, you have to take that money out if you're the heir within mm -hmm. or the beneficiary within 10 years. You used to be able to take it out over your lifetime, but now that tax benefit has gone away. So that means over a 10-year period, if it's a lot of money that has to be taken out of that IRA or retirement account, that could be a huge tax hit if not planned for properly. Yeah, you know, Ryan, under this new SECURE Act, in order to help the baby boomers out, you know, because we need all the help we can get, uh, we're able now to let our money compound for an additional year and a half in our retirement account. So there'll be more money, you know, for you to inherit. 
but the negative is you've got to pay for it. So instead of having a stretch IRA, you now got to take it out within 10 years, which in your case could put you in a much higher tax bracket. It could be a real negative. That's right. So that's why it's so critical to do some proactive estate planning now, because maybe if you're retired right now, but you're not 72 yet, it might be a good time to convert some of your money to what we call a Roth IRA. So when your heirs inherit that, they can inherit that tax free as opposed to all of a sudden getting this big tax hit over that 10 year period. The other thing we find, Bob, is just updating the beneficiaries on your retirement plans. A lot of times you don't do that. And that takes precedence over your will. You know, Ryan, I do that every year because all my clients are having children and grandchildren, well, everybody except me. Um, and so we're changing, you know, making sure the beneficiaries are set, make sure the 529 plans are in place. Um, I mean, how many problems do we have? It's almost like every estate we settle, there's something not titled properly. Oh, it's crazy. And if you don't have an update your will in the last 10 years, which you probably haven't, because most of our clients come in here and be like, oh, man, I did that a long time ago. Either maybe it's the brother-in-law you don't like anymore, happens to be you know, a guardian or a trustee on one of your trusts. Uh, you yeah. know, There's so many different things that need to be updated, and there's usually people that you may not want to have that money that maybe back in the day you liked a lot better. You know, A lot of these things happen. Yeah, you really have to check it, right? And the thing is, it's not, if you don't have a good advisor checking it for you, you better check it on your own because a lot of these banks and, and these wirehouses, they don't really pay attention to that. Um, we just had a client just came in, had no beneficiaries named on a $15 million estate, and he's still thinking about it. I said, what are you doing? He's out thinking about it. I said, you know, I don't know if I like anybody that much. I said, well, name me for crying out loud. <laughs> <laughs> but even little things, Bob, like you had a client recently, they had a boat, right? And he had passed away, and there was a real issue about titling that asset because it was in no one's name when he passed. Yeah, there's a lot of things, right? It's not just intangible assets like your investments. It can be tangible assets, you know, boats, jewelry, all types of things. It's things you got to think about. You know, look, nobody wants to think about their own mortality, but you need to. And that's why having someone give you advice forces you to do it. You know, we don't want to do things like go to the gym every day. That's why we hire a trainer. You need to hire a good advisor to make you do the things that will save you and your family a lot of money. Yeah, if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need this kind of audit. I need to figure out, tally up my assets, figure out how things are structured, make sure I'm doing it the most tax efficiently so my heirs inherit that money with the least amount of government partnership. Here's a shot to do it. We have 10 slots. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $500,000 saved for retirement, myself and Bob will run for you our now famous Total Financial Master Plan. It's a full holistic review where we look at the big picture. All you need to do is bring those statements in. They're probably in for January. Bring them in the office. We're going to take all of that information, and we're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal so you can see your entire net worth at a bird's eye view, and then we're going to start looking at all the critical components. We're going to look at everything from diversification. What risks do you have in your portfolio you don't know about? If the market goes down like it did two years ago, are you protected? We're going to show you how to bulletproof or protect your portfolio for retirement. We're going to look at income. Income is so much more reliable than the ups and downs of the market. Do you have an income plan for retirement? We're going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio so you have a stream of income that you can't outlive. And we're going to look at taxes and fees. Yes, there's a lot of hidden costs in your investment portfolio. You don't know you're paying in those insurance products, annuities, mutual funds. We're going to show you how to reduce cost. And we're going to show you how to optimize your portfolio for taxes so there's more money in your pocket. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan and determine the most critical question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now, our family has literally worked on for over 45 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Hey, don't miss out. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Seven five two six six nine two. You can simply call eight four four Plan N Y C. That's eight four four P L A N N Y C. If you're one of our next ten callers and you've saved over five hundred thousand for your retirement, my son Ryan and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation. There's no cost. There's no plan. Let's just call or text right now eight four four seven five two six six nine two. That's eight four four. 752-6692. Or you can simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 
P-L-A-N-N-Y-C. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm sitting here with my son, Rye, and we're the Paynes of No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio, and of course, that's P-A-Y-N-E. And Bob and I, as you know, are common sense, simple men, and we want to keep it simple for you when it comes to your planning and investing, give you common sense advice. That's why we put together our newest guide. We give you five ways to save on taxes in 2020, and we include the new Secure Act, so you're up to speed on all the new tax benefits you can take advantage of. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish, that's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish, to 555 555- 888. That's five ways to maximize your retirement accounts, save on taxes in 2020, and we give you all the new highlights of the new Secure Act so you can take advantage of all the new tax benefits. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555 888. That's the word bullish to 555 888. So, Bob, I was thinking about our client base, and a good percentage of our clients are actually baby boomers. And you know, when you look at that, there are some unique challenges we find that our baby boomer clients have that, let's say, their parents or your parents, you know, actually didn't have a generation before. Well, that's true, Ryan. And, and a lot of our clients are baby boomers because when I started in this industry back in 1975, I was what you would call millennial today. So basically, yeah. most of our clients were parents of millennials. And lo and behold, they all became baby boomers. So we have a lot of baby boomers. So we know exactly what a lot of those challenges are. And I think the number one is, is that we're living longer and we're healthier. Yeah, that's exactly right. So that's kind of a double-edged sword. It's great. Everyone's mm-hmm. living longer. Uh, but what comes with that is the other thing we find is everyone always likes to say, well, when I retire, I'll have like 80% of the income that I need it when I was working. That's mm-hmm. just not true. Not only are you living longer, but... We find that you need 100% of your expenses uh, that you had while you're working, which most people do not account for. No, that's for sure. And, and you know, because you want to go on vacation, now you can go on a real vacation, right? Instead of having to run in, you know, go and see everything in a week and run back, you know, now you can sit in the cafe and have an espresso and enjoy yourself and, you know, travel with your grandchildren and gift money. And there's lots of things you want to do and you can do. And because baby boomers are healthier, they're doing more activities, right? They're doing a lot more things. That's right. So you're going to have a lot more fun things you're going to put in there, but also you have more health care expenses. And of course, we have that hidden insidious tax, Bob, that you like to call inflation, cost of living is going oh, yeah. up. So the portfolio that you need to build, it's kind of a tricky one because not only do you need safety, because let's be real, you know, if it's like a 2008 again, you can't afford to see your portfolio take a big hit but on the other hand, you need growth in your portfolio too. So you've really got to build a portfolio that has safety, but growth as well. Well, you know, Ra, you got to be smarter than the government. I mean, let's take the government, for example. They put in this great program back in 1935 called Social Security. Yes. You know how long the average American lived in 1935 to what age? I'm going to guess like 65. Well, that's when Social Security started. Okay. but. You know, he started at age 65, but the average American only lived to 61. So the government figured, okay, we're going to give you a benefit you're never going to get. I said, hopefully, they, they were hoping you'd be dead by the time they had to give you a benefit. That's that's pretty good planning. Yeah, it never occurred to them people would live longer and be healthier. Now, now the average life expectancy is 79, and it goes up every almost every year. So you just can't depend, you know, on a straight line analysis. You know, the government does it failed miserably. You can't afford to do that. You've got to incorporate inflation into your thinking. Yeah. And the number two, let me say it again, and the two major mistakes you're making right now with your portfolio, and we see this every single week as we analyze your portfolios as you come into our offices, is number one, you're taking too much risk. You've got way too much money in the stock market that's going up for 10 years. And any sort of big decline, you're going to derail your retirement completely because you're taking too much risk. Or on the flip side, you've just gone way too conservative that your money's just not going to grow enough in retirement that you can live off of it. You're going to run out of money. So you're not at the right balance. And this is the thing that needs to be corrected, I'd say, for almost all of you. So number one reason why we exist, Rai, is to help people figure out, are they taking enough risk in their portfolio or are they taking too much risk? It's a question we get almost every single day. And you know what I hate about big booming bull markets that we're in right, right now? You know what I hate about them? 
I mean, I can't think of anything to hate about a big booming bull market, Bob, but uh, enlighten me, sir. If people who can't afford the risk all of a sudden think they're really brave and they forget the fact that trees don't grow to the sky and they forget how scared and frightened and dangerous it was when we had that 50 percent correction just 10 years ago. Yeah. So you have to ask yourself, you know, when was the last time I actually evaluated the risk I have in my portfolio? And the other thing is, how do I even know the risk I have in my portfolio? And that's really where you need to put it under what we call the stress test. It's good to back test and see in a bear market, how would my portfolio hold up? And I'm willing to bet that most of you have not run that analysis yet. You know, Ryan, no one, no one that I know likes half, right? <laughs> so if I sit down and look at your statement right now and cut it in half, and say, am I willing to sit there and let it recover after I lost half? Half is a lot. Yeah, and it's one thing it was 10 years ago when you were much earlier in your working life, but now you're 10 years older. Now you're either retired, now you're close to retirement. You can't afford the same amount of risk. The other thing that I'm willing to bet you're not doing when it comes to your portfolio is you're not throwing the kitchen sink at your retirement plan. You're not looking at all those unanticipated expenses that you could possibly have. And that's another big thing because you need to account for a lot of expenses, again, that your parents didn't when it comes to your financial plan. Now, especially healthcare, right? Cost of healthcare. I mean, I talked to a good client of mine the other day. He's in his 90s. His wife's in his 90s. Their health is deteriorating. And he says, Bob, he said, do me a favor. Tell everybody on your radio show how inflation is really killing the senior citizens in this country. He said, my health care insurance, my long-term care insurance he said, it doesn't go up by inflation. It goes up four or five fold. He said, it's frightening. And he said, it's all he and his buddies talk about when I get together for lunch. Uh, fortunately, he's well planned. But you know what? you got to make sure you are too. Yeah, and that's what I don't like about these annuity commercials where they're like, okay, you get this income stream for life and you think, I'm set. I'm just going to turn that sucker on and I'm just going to chill by the pool, which is basically Bob's life, but I digress. And <laughs> I'm going to you know, collect this income. The problem is the income you need today is not the income you're going to need 10 years from now. It's going to be a lot more. And if you don't have an income plan that's going up over time or an in increasing cash flow portfolio, that's a real big problem. When you turn that annuity on, it's the same amount of money every single year. That's not going to work long term. You know, right? Inflation compounds against you. You need your money compounding for you. No, no smarter words were ever spoken. I need to get a checkup to make sure I'm financially healthy, that my retiring plan is going to incorporate all these negative things Ryan's talking about. Healthcare, child expenses, you know, insurance bills. Oh, my goodness. You know, lions, tigers, and bears. Oh, my. I need to get this thing fixed. Well, if you're thinking that, well, here's your opportunity. All you have to do is be one of our next few callers and have saved over 500000 for retirement because if you are one of those lucky few, Ryan and I will create for you not only your own 360 financial portal, but we'll create for you what we call financial GPS, which will tell you where you are right now and map out where you're going and report daily on the progress of your journey to financial independence. It will define your financial timeline and the best, most efficient route to achieve all of your goals. It'll put your financial life on autopilot and help you to avoid those financial potholes and those financial dead ends that you get with a typical cookie cutter you know, financial plan on the internet or from some stockbroker. Most of all, it will update your net worth daily in real time so you'll always know where you are and, more importantly, where you're going. In addition, we're going to take all those statements. As a matter of fact, grab all those statements right now. Stick them in a shopping bag. Put them in a folder. You don't have to open them. We'll take them apart. We'll put it down to an easy-to-understand analysis to see if you have what we call the three key elements of a successful strategy. Are you truly diversified? You know, the only free lunch on Wall Street – is diversification. Most of you right now have way too much money in the same investments over and over again, and it's going to end in tears. We want to look at your cost. You know, I don't know about you. I really despise being overcharged, and I don't want to have you overcharged by your own portfolio. Yeah, there's lots of hidden costs. There's lots of fees. They're in plain sight. When we look at a portfolio, we'll show you how to look. And lastly, income. You know, I'm not going to say it's my I'm going to say it's my other son. I'm not going to say which, which, you know, it was my favorite. You know, I'm just talking about my other son. My other son says there's better outcomes with more income. And we're going to help you to generate more income in your portfolio because we need to fill that gap once we're retired. But you know what, folks? If you're retired right now, you have one goal. And that goal is to stay retired and to have a lifetime of income you can't outlive. 
And lastly, we're going to answer that age-old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for over 40 years. That's right. For four decades, we've been helping families just like yours get to your financial point A, to your goals, to your dreams, with your values, with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. So don't waste time. Give us a call or text at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $500,000 saved for retirement. We'll give you a full complimentary review at 844-752-6692. That's call or text at 844-752-6692. Here's your shot to get a second opinion. Make sure you're on track for retirement at 844-752-6692. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. It's time for Financial Propaganda of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call it the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. So, Bob, what did you find out there this week in the horrendous, hard world of financial propaganda? Well, I actually, I actually found some help, right? But um, it wasn't so much the media that was driving uh, the volatility of the market this week. It was actual, you know, flu pandemic. You know, we have the uh, coronavirus. News came out last week and the market dropped like a rock. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. I mean, the market was less volatility than it normally does over like a 70-day period, right? Moved less than 1%, which is very rare. The last time you had mm-hmm. that was back in October of 2018. And then all of a sudden, uh, we had this big scare of this epidemic uh, over this past week. And all of a sudden, markets obviously sold off more than 2%, which is a lot when you consider how much or how little volatility we've seen over the course of the last really over a year. It's kind of crazy. Well, you know, I've been preaching about this big booming bull market now for 10 years. You would think our clients would know that, um, you know, we were still bullish, but we had a lot of panic calls. So I, I did a little history. And a little research and found the history of viruses in the stock market are pretty consistent, right? They make the market wobble, but they don't cause bear markets. That's right. If you go back, and then you and I were passing articles back and forth, and I'll steal your article here, Bob. But going back in the past, you look at the SARS epidemic, which was back from 2002 to 2003. The market did actually sell off initially. Uh, it was down something like 14%. But by the end of 2003, the market was actually up 28% for the year. So there was an initial sell-off, but then eventually the market went back on that long-term bull market trend that it initially had. So, right, do all these viruses, you know, come from China? We have the coronavirus and we had the SARS, you know, the severe acute respiratory syndrome. We had the bird flu, the swine flu. Uh, did they all come out of China? Well, Bob, actually, if you go back to the turn of the century uh, or closer to the turn of the century, meaning like 19, early 1900s, uh, you had the Spanish flu, which was an outbreak between 1918 and 1920, where, get this, you had over 100 million deaths. And that wasn't that long ago. That's a pretty crazy number. That 6% of the global population was killed by a virus. Now, stock market had a crash on that news, right? So crazy enough, you know, you, you and I both saw this article, so I know you know where this is going. But in 2018 and 2019, the market had double-digit returns in the positive both years. So even with a huge epidemic like we had back closer to the turn of last century, the markets were that resilient. So historically, basically what it tells you is the market can be pretty resilient in the face of these viruses. Well, you know what it is, right? I mean, it it makes sense, right? You think, okay, everybody's sick in bed, so nobody's going to work, nobody's buying anything, the economy grinds to a halt, but, you know, the market discounts everything, right? And the market sees past people being sick and seeing them getting well, and the market always sees, you know, what's happening in the future. And the future, of course, is always bright, markets always go up, and the economies always grow. So, Bob, I found some other interesting statistics out there this week. And one thing we talked about a lot last year is the market was up huge, right? We were up over 30% in U.S. stocks last year. You would think that investors were putting their money in the stock market in droves. Now, as it turned out, Rye, there is more money coming out of stocks 
on the fear of a recession and the verdict yield curve. Uh, you know, you name the propaganda du jour. But uh, a lot of money went into bonds. Well, this is how crazy it is. You actually had net money coming out of the stock market last year and the tune of $42 billion. So that means that even though the market was going up, investors like you and me were just selling out of the market because they were afraid. You heard a lot about these recession talks last year and things like that. And money instead went into places that you and I don't like, Bob, and that's into bond funds. Bond funds had record inflows last year. That means most of us sold the stock market and put our money in bond funds in droves. Well, you know, I am the anti-bond fund king, uh, well known for 45 years campaigning against bond funds because, as you know, Rye, they're heads you lose, tails you lose. That's right. So last year, just to give you some crazy statistics, you had $413 billion go into wow. taxable bond funds and another $105 billion go into muni bond funds. And the problem is, Bob, when interest rates start to go up, which they haven't yet, to be fair, bond prices start to go down. And it's kind of like being in an elevator with a lot of people you don't like. Because once rates start to go up and bond prices start to go down, all that money that funneled into these bond funds is probably going to panic out at the same time. Hey, Rai, how can interest rates go up? I mean, all they do is go down, right? It's, uh, that's the trend. The trend is your friend. Haven't you ever heard that one? <laughs> it is until it isn't, right? That's the other yeah. way to look at that. And the one thing you have to start to look at, and one thing we talk about a lot, Bob, is despite what the media has been saying, you know, financial propaganda, is the rest of the world is actually starting to pick up again. Last year, everything started to slow down, but we're already starting to see manufacturing pick up in Germany. We're also seeing it pick up in Europe and other places. And that usually means when you're starting to see growth, interest rates eventually start to go up. And if that happens, again, you don't want to be caught in that bear bond trap. That could be a really bad place to have your money. That's a really bad place, a bear bond trap. I mean, I've, I've never heard it expressed that way, and I don't want to be there. It's sort of like you know, stretching a rubber band, right? If you stretch a rubber band too far, what happens? When it goes the other way, it's going to be like a slingshot. And that's not really a trend that you want to be on. So the proactive move here is rates did come down a little bit this past week because of the coronavirus and fears. But realistically, Bob, if these fears get calmed at some point, hopefully they will, interest rates will probably start to go up again. And that's where those bond funds can be a really, really risky place to be. You don't want to own bond funds. We talk about it all the time, but right now it's probably more risky than ever. You know, Rod, there's no institutional memory when it comes to investments. And, you know, I grew up at a time where rates only went up. Um, you know, my first mortgage, they offered me a, a whopping 22%. And it was a deal, you know, wow. to uh, take out a mortgage back, you know, in, in the early 80s. Um, interest rates can go up and they will go up. And when you went and I've been through, uh, you know, an increasing yield environment, 90% of the advisors out there today weren't in the industry when interest rates went up. They only see interest rates go down. They don't know the devastation that can, you know, they could come to your portfolio by putting you in these Heads you lose, tails you lose investments. Yeah, that no, it's exactly right. And that's why right now, like everything with investing, be proactive, not reactive. And if you're thinking to yourself, I don't even know what I own right now. I don't know what kind of safety I have in my portfolio. I don't know if I have bond funds. I don't know if I have the plan that's going to get me through retirement. Well, here's your shot to find out. If you're one of the next six callers, you have over $500,000 safe for retirement. Myself and Bob will run for you our total financial master plan. And we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we look at everything for you. All you need to do is bring those statements in, bring them into our office. We're going to take all that data. We're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal where you can see your entire net worth at a bird's eye view. And we can start to look at all the critical components. We're going to look at everything from diversification. What hidden risks do you have in your portfolio? Do you own a lot of these risky bond funds that are not going to protect you in a down market? We're going to show you how to bulletproof and protect your portfolio so you have a portfolio that's not going to collapse during your retirement. We're going to look at income. Income is so much more reliable than the ups and downs of the market. How are you going to replace that income gap if you're retired now or going to be retired? We're going to show you how to optimize the income on your portfolio, build you an income stream that you can outlive. And we're going to look at taxes and fees. Yes, there's a lot of hidden costs in your portfolio you don't know you're paying. And those annuities, mutual funds, life insurance products, brokerage products, we're going to show you how to reduce cost on your portfolio and optimize your portfolio for taxes so there's more money in your pocket for retirement. 
Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, utilizing strategies now our family has literally worked on for over 45 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Hey, don't miss out. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or you can simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844 P L A N. NYC. If you're one of our next few callers, you've saved over a half a million for your retirement. Ryan and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation. There's no cost. There's no strings attached, but there's no plan unless you text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne, and I'm with my son, Rye, and we're the pains of No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio, and that's Payne spelled P-A-Y-N-E. And Bob and I want to make sure that you have the most common sense, practical advice for your planning and investing. That's why we put together our new guide for 2020, where you can save on taxes five different ways to do it in 2020. And we give you the highlights of the new Secure Act, all the new tax benefits you have available to you. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish. You can text it to 555-888. Five ways to save on taxes in 2020. Money saved in taxes is just as green as any money can make invest it. You can download it for free. Get all the highlights of the new Secure Act. So you know all the new tax benefits that are available. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And if you want to learn more about myself and Bob, you can check us out on the World Wide Web. Simply go to bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com. You can catch our show, subscribe to it in podcast form. You can learn more about our firm, Pain Capital Management. And yes, Bob's hair is real. But you know what? You need to know for yourself. <laughs> Simply go to bebullish.com and you can learn more about Pain Capital Management. You can catch myself, other advisors at Pain Capital Management on all the major networks every single week. Everything from CNBC, Fox Business, to Yahoo Finance, talking about our latest thoughts on the economy and the market. And if you ever have a question for myself or Bob, we answer all your questions directly. Simply email us at questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. Bob and I answer all your questions directly. And it's a really good question. We'd like to answer it right here on the show. And today in the studio, our man Dan is out. So we have a very special guest. We have Grace Reddick stepping in for Dan today to answer questions for us. Grace, we're honored to have you here in the studio answering questions today. Thank you guys for having me. Uh, so the first question comes from Rose in Huntington, Long Island. She asks, Bob, my husband and I have several different brokerage accounts, seven of them, in fact. This is in addition to our 401ks at work. Should we consolidate some of these accounts, or is it better to have them spread out like this? Wow. Oh, Rose, I'll tell you, that's a great question because, you know what, Rye? I think this is one of the top five things that all investors do wrong. They're taught from birth, diversify, diversify, diversify. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. And what do they do? They get all their eggs in the same eggs in different baskets, yeah. and they do the exact wrong thing every single time. Yeah, the first thing you want to do is you want to take an audit of every different account you have and put them in one place, because odds are if you have a broker at this firm and you have a taxable account over here and a retirement account here, is a lot of the things that you own in these different accounts own the same things, which is not diversification. And right now, tax time, Bob, it's even more acute because nothing's worse than getting those tax reporting statements from like 10 different firms. That's my idea of a really bad time. Yeah, you really got to find somebody you trust to put this all together. I mean, uh, you just had a recent situation of someone who, whose advisor forgot to tell them to take their required minimum distribution. Now they're facing a huge penalty from the IRS. For seven years, by the way, this is not a pretty situation. You know, this is that's it's huge. You have to know what's going on with those RMBs because that's a big problem. I've seen so many horror stories, Rye, where there's a concentration 
into what's really good. Uh, one of the worst things I ever saw was when I ran the office in, back, sorry again, one of the worst things I ever saw when I worked back in Bluebell, Pennsylvania, where Sperry Univac was headquartered, and one of the executives come in and they had all their money in Sperry stock. They had Sperry stock was their compensation, Sperry stock was their options, Sperry stock was in their 401k. Guess what happened to Sperry stock, right? <laughs> I feel like it no longer exists because I've never even heard of that company. No, it's all gone. They uh, they went out of business, and uh, thank goodness that executive met me before that happened. So you know what happens, Rye, when, when you end up with all these different accounts? You don't have a portfolio. You have what we call a collection of investments. That's right. And I mean, again, going back to tax time, it's just like you want to simplify your life the closer you are to retirement and retirement and nothing's better. I do this for all my clients. When you have everything in one place diversified properly, we send all those tax reporting statements right to the accountant. Just like that, one simple step as opposed to trying to get all these different statements, put it together, simplify your life, make it less complex in retirement. So the next question comes from John in Wayne, New Jersey. He asks, Ryan, I want to know the proactive steps I need to take to protect my portfolio, as you and Bob often suggest. I agree the ride will not continue, and my portfolio needs to be set up with hedges like bonds. I like John. He is an active listener who listens. <laughs> and that's the thing, right? you, you got to have protection in your portfolio, especially when you're in what we call the financial red zone, when you're within five years of retirement and retired. And Bob, you know, we always say the problem is you don't really know the risk in your portfolio until it's too late. No, it's so true, Ryan. I mean, it's um, if you go through every cycle of every bull market that we've ever been through, you know, as things get better, people feel more secure, right? Every time you get a statement that goes up, you feel, wow, I can handle risk. I'm really good at this now. And, you know, gradually we start to ratchet up the risk in the portfolio and all of a sudden, boom, market gets hit and you take a big hit in your portfolio, you got to adjust as time goes by. You know, as things go up in price, doesn't mean you're going up in value. No, that's exactly right. And I think the one cool tool that we just started using is we can actually go back and back test and say, okay, here's your portfolio today, but here's what it would have done back in 2008 when the market went down big. And you can see what kind of potential downside risk you have. Like I had a couple come in the other week and we ran that stress test, we'll call it, and their portfolio would have gone down by 50%. That would have been $2 million they would have seen their portfolio go down by. And I'll tell you what, Bob, <laughs> they were not pleased with that analysis. Right. We had a client come in a couple of years ago who got slaughtered in the last decline because his stockbroker told him he doesn't need bonds. You know, they're stodgy, they're boring, they're for old people, even though the client was 70 eight years old, uh, yeah. and said, you know, we give you, we put bond proxies in there, utility stocks and real estate investment trusts. They have higher yields and they've outperformed bonds, you know, over the last 30, 40 years. Yeah, they can <laughs> go down like 40% in any given year. A safe portfolio of bonds that you own, not bond funds, make that distinction, doesn't do that. So it's like right now, and the old saying is, Warren Buffett saying, we talk about this a lot, is when the tide goes out, you can be, you can see who's been swimming naked. This is the time to run that analysis to find out when the tide goes out next. Will you be swimming naked or not? Great time to be proactive about your portfolio. Right. Yeah, right. I think you're absolutely right. And, um, you know, I think Rose and John had some pretty good questions. But, you know, it's time for you. It's time for judgment time, right? On a scale <laughs> of 1 to 10, what do you think? What would you give Rose and John uh, in terms of being financially organized? I have to say Rose has a little bit further to go, but she is thinking like, I have all these accounts. What do I do? And John, absolutely right. Mark has been going up. He knows he's taking too much risk, knows he has to diversify it. So if I was to give them a mixed average, I'm going to give them a hard six here, Bob. They're on their way. They're thinking about the right things. Now they just have to bring it home and do the right planning. That's great, Ryan. Now, let me ask all of you on a scale of one to 10, how financially organized are you right now? What would your spouse give you? What would Ryan give you? Would you be a six? Why wouldn't you want to be a 10? Well, if you want to be a 10, here's your chance. All you have to do is be one of our next few callers, especially if you've saved over a half a million dollars for retirement because Rye and I will create for you your own 360 financial portal. Now, this is think about this as you're driving in your car. This is a GPS equivalent, a financial GPS. You know, something will tell you where you are financially and tell you where you're going and report daily on the progress of your journey to financial independence. It will define your financial timeline and the best, most efficient route to achieve your goals. It will put your financial life on autopilot and help you to avoid those financial potholes and dead ends of a typical 
cookie cutter financial plan you might find on the internet. More importantly, it's gonna update your net worth in real time on a daily basis, so you'll always know where you are, but more importantly, you'll know exactly where you're going, be able to sleep better at night. You know, in addition, Ryan, I would like you to just gather all your statements right now, stick them in a file, stick them in an envelope, you know, stick them in a shopping bag, uh, pick up the phone and give us a call because we're going to break that information down to see if you have a collection of investments, you know, like our, our, our friend Rose did today. We want to be certain that you're taking advantage of the three key elements of a successful investor. Diversification. Let's make sure all your eggs aren't in one basket, no matter how many statements you're getting. Let's look at your fees, your cost. Hey, look, there's a cost of doing business, but you know what? Why be overcharged? I don't know about you. I really despise being overcharged. We know where these costs are. They may be hidden to you. They're in plain sight. We're going to show you exactly where to look. And we're going to be certain that you have the income you need to sustain yourself in retirement. You know, we all fear that one day where that paycheck's no longer going to come in. But you know what? If you're retired right now, like a lot of my clients, a lot of my friends, you have one goal in life, and that is to stay retired. You don't want to be a greeter at Walmart. We want you to have that lifetime of income you can't outlive. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial masterpiece where we're going to answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for over four decades. Can you believe it? For 45 years, we've been helping families just like yours get from your financial point A to your goals, to your dreams, to your point B with the least amount of risk and only the certainty that a fiduciary like Payne Capital Management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next four callers, we have four slots left at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Here's your shot to get a second opinion Make sure you're on track if you're retired now or looking to retire at 844-752-6692. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. And, of course, that's pain, P-A-Y-N. E, just like the Eagles. <laughs> and <laughs> as you know, we like to give you the most common sense, practical advice every week for your planning and investing. That's why we put together our newest guide, How to Save on Taxes in 2020. And we give you all the highlights from the new Secure Act so you know all the new tax benefits that are available. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's bullish, B U L L I S H, to 555 888. That's the word bullish, to 555 888, five ways to save on taxes in 2020. We give you all the highlights of the new tax reform. And money saved in taxes is just as green as any money you can make invested. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555 888. That's the word bullish to 555 888. And now we have a very special guest on the show, my colleague, Bob's colleague, financial advisor at Payne Capital Management, Frankie Lagrateria. Frankie. Hi. You've been traveling all month. We've been trying to get you on the show, but you've just been too busy. Well, that's what, you know, when you're one of Frankie's financial friends, you can guarantee she's going to come out to see you. <laughs> and for all those who don't she know, <laughs> and we now have an office dog because uh, of you. Oh, yes. I just got a puppy. His name is Hank, and he comes to work with me every day. So that's that's part of the perks of getting being one of Frankie's financial friends. You get to hang out with Hank. Well, I like the communal element. So Frankie travels, see your clients, and then it's almost like everyone gets to to watch the dog. Everyone <laughs> takes turns in the office, taking the dog home for a couple of days. So Hank's been an amazing addition to the office in 2020. You know, definitely a morale booster and um, a great portfolio manager. <laughs> <laughs> me, this is our spotlight segment. Uh, every week what we do is we take a real financial plan. Uh, we dissect it. And we talk about how we help someone get on their path to financial freedom. You worked on a case recently. Why don't you break it down for us and tell us how you helped this couple get on their path and break it down for us. Yeah, so a um, couple brand new to retirement walked in with like a smile on his face. And he was like, I, I ended it Friday and it was Monday. So he was feeling great. Um, but realized that 
as he did such an excellent job of saving for retirement and and getting his assets accumulated, he had no idea how to transition that over into mm -hmm. retirement and how to pull money from his account and how to live off of it now. So he went from the proverbial wealth accumulation stage where just putting it, putting it away. But then you come to this conclusion, oh, I actually have to start drawing from this now. Uh, what we call the wealth distribution stage. Absolutely. So it's like a like a squirrel getting ready for winter and you stock up all your stuff and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, now I have to live here. <laughs> I have to live here for three months. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so we, we got together, we, we went through everything, and we found a few really big uh, really big pain points. So the biggest one, and he knew that too, was such a large cash position. Yes, oh. we see this a lot. We see that, um, you know, we talked about this earlier on the show today, sometimes you have too much risk or you have too much money earning mm -hmm. nothing. Yeah, he, out of his whole portfolio, had 25% of his portfolio just in cash. Wow. And that's, you know, Frank, we see this a lot anymore because a lot of people think that, you know, oh, I'm afraid of the stock market. It's going way up. You know, I'm afraid of volatility. I'm going to be in retirement. I need to get to my money. But, you know, isn't it's a loser's game, right? Because the return on cash is trash and net of inflation are going backwards. So mm -hmm. what, what happened when you showed them that analysis? Well, when I showed him that just by getting it invested, getting into something like uh, a bond strategy, getting into ETFs that also pay a dividend, yeah. um, still keeping it really conservative though, right? Because he's retired now mm -hmm. and we can't be taking this market risk. We can't be having uh, his portfolio drop 30, 40% overnight because that's, you know, he lives off of this now. We can increase his income to 48000 a year. Wow. So wow. I'm looking at this here. That's an increase of about $31,000 a year mm -hmm. just by restructuring the portfolio. And that's why cash is trash because mm -hmm. cash really earns <laughs> nothing right now. And you need your assets to be productive. Yes. And and this is still, uh, and I, I, a lot of people come to me and say, you know, well, you know, I don't want to get invested because if I call you, I have an emergency, Frankie, you know, I, I need $10,000. Where are you going to take it from? And I'm like, from your portfolio, you know, we can still have a liquid portfolio that is getting gaining interest, uh, gaining return over time, and is available for you when you need it. I think that's the biggest innovation in financial services. You know, when I started back in the 70s, it, it was a week. If you need your money, no matter what it was, it took a week to get your money. Ah. Then it was three days. Now you can have it same day. It's amazing how liquidity, how the liquidity has increased so dramatically in our industry today. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And I think the big thing there too is, you know, one thing when you get closer to retirement and retirement, this is one of the reasons why we're not a big fan of a lot of these insurance products. And a lot of times annuities aren't a great fit is because you give up what we call liquidity or access to your principal. And the nice thing is when you can generate more income and to your point, but you can always get to your principal if you need it mm -hmm. is really, really key because a lot of times when you get an income stream in some of these insurance products, you have to give something up. Whereas when you have a liquid portfolio, you never give up your principal, which to me is that's where you want to be in retirement. You never want to give up your principal. Absolutely. So to be able to have you know a gain of $31,000 in income, most likely he wouldn't even need to touch the principal. Yeah. But if he did, he has access. It's a no-brainer. Uh, the other big one was consolidation. And I see this so many times. And I think it's yes. so important, so, mm. so vital to check yourself and say, am I actually diversified? Or do I have the same thing in 13 different accounts? Overkill. How many accounts minute, did Frank. he have? Frank, you're not talking about what Jim Cramer does on TV. He says you have five different stocks <laughs> diversified. You're talking about something a little different, I hope. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm talking about uh, uh, definitely consolidating your accounts. You don't need four IRAs. You don't need an IRA, yeah. a 401k, and, and two more traditional IRAs. You don't need that. You need one, maybe two. <laughs> and I'm looking, this dude had like 10 different accounts. <laughs> Oh, my God. And to your point, when you break down all those different accounts, he owned a lot of the same investments in all those different accounts. So he wasn't really diversified, but he has the headache of trying to manage this many accounts. And I always say it really is a preference item. I mean, at the end of the day, my thought process is, would you rather have 50 cents in each pocket or have a dollar? You know, you want to keep it simple. When you have 10 accounts, no matter how much money you have, there are 10 smaller accounts than it would be one big account. And you know, unfortunately, these banks and wirehouses, they treat you differently depending on how much money you have. So here's someone who should be treated and expensed, you know, like a large investor, but he's being treated like a thousand dollar mutual fund investor. He's not getting any breaks. He's not getting any consideration, um, not getting any respect. Mm -hmm. So Frankie, thank you for giving him some respect. <laughs> 
Yeah, and he got to hang out with Hank too. So I mean, his his whole world changed when he met me. You know, it's just what I do. It's who I am, people. <laughs> it's amazing having a dog in the office. The uh, the change, as Bob likes to say, this is another financial masterpiece. Great job on this, Frankie. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, that's what I need too. I have lots of different accounts. I have no idea how to generate income on my investments. I'm sitting with way too much cash right now that I know is not productive. It's not getting towards my goals. Here's your shot to do it. We literally have two slots left. If you give us, if you give us a call or text right now, myself, Bob, and Frankie, and be one of Frankie's financial friends, La Grateria, will run for you our total financial master plan. We're going to do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review just like this. All you need to do is get those statements out. Bring them into the office. We're going to take all of your statements. We're going to take all your investments, and we're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal where you can get a bird's eye view of your entire net worth, and we can start looking at all those critical components just like this. We're going to look at how diversified are you really. You have 10 different accounts like this gentleman where there's no concerted strategy. We're going to break it down and show you where all the pitfalls are in your portfolio, what underlying risk you don't know you have in your portfolio so we can protect you in retirement. We're going to look at income. We want to increase income by $30,000 a year by just diversifying this gentleman's money. Uh, how, what can we do for you? How can we create an income stream for you that you cannot live, optimize, or increase the income on your portfolio? And we're going to look at fees and taxes. Are there hidden costs in your portfolio you don't know about? We're going to show you where all the hidden costs are. We're going to show you by how you can consolidate, reduce cost, and then we're going to show you how to optimize your portfolio for taxes so there's more money in your pocket. Then we're going to tie it all together and determine that most critical question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now, we have literally worked on for over 45 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Hey, don't miss out. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Nine two, or you can simply call eight four four Plan NYC. That's eight four four P L A N N Y C. If you're one of our next two callers, that's all we have left, or two spots, and you saved over five hundred thousand for retirement. Rye, Bob, and Frankie's. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, let me try again. Yeah. Um, and yeah. <laughs> if you if you're one of our next two callers. That's right. We only have two spots left, and you saved over five hundred thousand for retirement. Rye, Bob, Frankie, and Hank will create for you your own total financial masterpiece. Now, there's no obligation, and there's no cost, but there's no plan unless you text or call right now eight four four seven five two six six nine two. That's eight four four seven five two six six nine two. Or all you have to do is call eight four four. Plan NYC. That's 844-P-L-A-N-N-Y-C. Another great show, Frank. Again, it's an honor to have you back after being on the road all of January. So it's nice oh, to see you in the office again. It's good to be back. <laughs> so good. So good to be back. So in one plan, no, Frank, the best. I think our firm's the only financial advisors that make house calls. That's true. <laughs> it's true. A lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I, I shouldn't be complaining. I do enjoy it. <laughs> Bob, always a pleasure. What's uh, on tap for the rest of the day in sunny Florida? Well, I'm studying the odds, Ry, because uh, my former coach of my beloved Eagles is going to the Super Bowl with Kansas City next weekend, and I'm just trying to figure out, you know, what how many points I need to get to make my <laughs> bet. So crunching some numbers. Well, another great yep. show, and as always, be bullish. Be bullish. 